Hey YouTube family, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all doing well. We have a project today, a cool one. Check this out. In this case, we have <laughs> an old 1982 Fender Stratocaster made in Japan. Wow, I had one of these years ago and, um, you know, I was just a kid. I think it was maybe the second guitar I ever had and I couldn't get it to play right and I got rid of it. But man, I kind of wished I would have kept it. Those Japanese strats or Japanese built guitars back in the day were some of the best ones a Fender ever had. This one Kind of a cool story. Somebody, you know, here in PEI reached out to me and said they were interested in the Revenge guitar and I asked if they wanted it all set up or or just, you know, as is. And he said, no, just as is is fine and I'll play with it, whatever. So, yeah, I met him in a parking lot in town. You know, he was taking his kid somewhere and I was taking mine somewhere <laughs> and uh, gave him the guitar and, and that was it. And then he wrote back a couple of... Uh, days later to say he really liked it he was really impressed and and that was it recently he contacted me and asked you know he said he had found me on youtube and he was watching my videos and he said that he he kind of liked all the guitar setup stuff that i did and he asked if i would have a look at this so this is a guitar that hasn't been played in a long time um unfortunately and i really feel for this guy um he um developed arthritis and he couldn't play for a long time but now it's more under control and he wants to get into guitar more so i said yeah i'd gladly have a look at it but uh i will make a youtube video if that's okay and he said sure go right ahead so i'm gonna put this on the bench because i haven't looked at it yet and we'll uh, look at it together and see what it needs and we'll start on the back side so and this may not come out but the two, you can tell the tuning keys are kind of dull, like um, they're not rusty, but they're very kind of tarnished. And I don't think that, like all those little spots, I don't think that'll come out. But, uh, you know, it, it just shows the age of the guitar. It's kind of cool. So long as the tutors are functional, I think it'll be fine. And they feel okay, but we'll do a quick test. Um, you can tell, you know, the, the wood's been sitting for a while it's it's very um sticky it feels uh like dirty you know so this will have to be cleaned and as far as the body goes you know typical uh four hole mount for the neck we'll check that out there's room here for like a massive block right look at all the space back here so anyway uh but he just he's just gonna leave it stock but you could definitely mod this thing into like a beast uh, the back, the body's pretty good. You know, it's got the, it's got the war marks there and the cover's missing, but a lot of people take those off anyway. And let's check the front. Uh, somebody, you know, changed the string trees. So they got some rollers there. They're not really lined up, but we'll fix that. And again, you can see the tarnish better on this side, right? I don't think that'll come off, but we'll try. We'll try. We'll see what we can do. Uh, and this nut, I don't know what the story is on this nut. He told me that there was a problem with it. Like it's not even touching here. I think, I think what's going on here is, uh, whoever had the guitar before him, uh, changed the nut or tried to make their own and they just used a straight piece of plastic. I think the nut slot on this one is radiused, just like the neck. So that's probably why it's elevated here. And if I flip the guitar over, there's a gap over here as well. The frets are <laughs> green. So those will have to be polished. Probably recrowned, but I don't know if it'll need a fret level. Maybe not. And you can see a lot of wear uh, on, on the finish on the neck. And that, you know, a lot of this stuff will come off. See? Like I can scrape it off. So we'll see how much of it we can we can take off. And we'll try and clean it all up. And you know the, the nice chip here. See how thick the paint is on this? It's crazy. Anyway, it's character. It's cool. And the pickups are original. I don't know what they are. I'm assuming they're probably El Nico. Again, all the pole pieces are kind of rusty. 
Um, this pick card, though, I don't think is original. It looks like someone just cut one out. There's only eight screws, and typically there are 11 for Fender Stratocasters. Um, but maybe the 80s strats were different, but it's bowed here. It's bowed over here, and it's bowed down here, and it's bowed right here. So, I don't know. I don't know if we'll reuse this one, or I might have a spare one here. And these uh, saddles are the stamp s type saddles and personally i hate these he told me that he didn't really care if i you know reuse them he said he doesn't care that they're rusty like they're all corroded uh he said so long as they work he says it's just a look thing so it's it's cool but um i don't know i think i might i might change those they're just ah, oh, I, I hate those things like for Look-wise, functionality-wise, and there's so little contact of the screw inside here that if you have to adjust your action up and down at all, like the screw's either sticking out over this, this saddle or it's like barely touching any threads if you like have to insert it in deeper. Uh, I think you mentioned the input jack was all loose. Yeah, look, it's all loose. And that the electronics were really noisy. Um, so, but you know, the switch feels good and the pots feel okay. So anyway, let's plug this thing in and see what it does. Here we go. The action is ridiculously high on this thing. Well, more so than I would like. So let me just check relief very quickly yeah there's a lot of relief in this neck so the neck could be straightened out a bit which would help lower the action and as some of the newer Fender Slim C's that you get today. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I like it. Well, even with this crappy nut, it seems to be staying in tune. And see, the nut height is, you know, high at the first fret. If I just do the this little test here. So we'll fix that. That'll be good. So position number two. Middle position. this up. All right, let's get to work. All right, first thing to go are these strings. Hey, well, happy Sunday morning. Enjoying a nice berry smoothie here. I had to uh, 
cut things short with the strat because I was working on it last night, you know, removing the strings. I realized, man, I got to get ready for a gig. <laughs> so I had to take off. So I was just in the process of taking off these tuners. And uh, all of these I was able to take off uh, just by hand, uh, except these last two. They're pretty tight. Oh, wait. Well, actually, there, this one. This one I can get. I guess I'm stronger on Sunday mornings. And then this one is the only one I'll need a tool for. Oh, you know what? I got that one too. <laughs> the wood's probably just a little dry. All right. So these are all pretty loose. But uh, anyway, it's kind of how they came, I guess. So we'll leave it stock. But we could definitely improve these tuners. Anyway, all right, I'm going to flip this thing over. Oh, and I just grabbed it to turn it over, and look, the nut just popped right off. So it wasn't even, wasn't even attached. I'm not sure if that comes up, but those are Goto branded tuners. So, you know, not terrible, but uh, look at the play in that. Got all the tuners off. Yeah, no surprises. Everything's pretty good. So while we're at it, I'm just laying the guitar flat and we'll remove this neck. No indexing hole. Oh, and there is a little black plate on this. Let's see how tightly that neck sits in there. Oh, not very. Not very tight. Came up pretty easily. It's got the old style uh, truss rod adjustment screw <laughs> and really nice, nice heel. These frets are super green and tarnished. I'll have to clean those out. We're going to see how level these frets are. Oh, let's take this body apart, see what we're dealing with inside. Just took the pickguard screws off. There's a shim in the bottom of the neck here, but it's just a piece of. Uh, you know, construction paper folded in half so uh, I will add a shim there and a better one than this. The neck pocket is awesome look at that super smooth very nice let's see if in the 80s if they uh, drilled out you know with the neck mounting holes properly so that the screws didn't screw into the body and uh, no they didn't fender didn't do that back then either All right so we'll have to enlarge those just a bit all right, let's see what surprises lurk in here. Well, this looks like it's the original pickguard because there's only eight screws. And uh, yeah, anyway, this is uh, very interesting. This is a big uh, box switch. It says YM50. I haven't, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Full-size pots. And looks like uh, ceramic pickups. Yeah, but they uh, they got a huge bar on them. Look at that. It's a big ceramic bar magnet. So, yeah, nothing nothing super fancy in there. Uh, you could upgrade that, man. Make it really cool. If one wanted to. But anyway, we're going to leave it stock. There. So the easiest thing to do without, you know, messing with any of the electronics is just snip the two wires for the jack and then snip the wire for the ground and the back of the bridge. I have some deoxit uh, which is a electronics cleaner. We're going to spray the stuff try to get some of the just the corrosion off. We just have to take the bridge off of this and we are done. So let's get to it. All right, got this out. Yeah, look at the corrosion on that. And there's like a, it's like a mess of uh, lint and dust and all kinds of stuff in there. Definitely gotta replace these saddles. I, I really, I'm not feeling these saddles. I don't really like them. Here's another trim that I have. You know, it, it was off of a, just a cheap strat. And so this, look at, look at the difference. 
<laughs> so this uh, 1980s Japanese Strat has a massive block compared to this. See how tiny this is? So way more, uh, you know, much better sustain block on this. But I like these saddles. These saddles are nice and solid. They're steel and they're chrome and they're exactly the same size and width as uh, the original. I just took the saddles off the bridge plate, took the bridge plate off the block because we're going to clean this bridge plate up. We're going to try anyway. And, um, you know, for those of you who are, you know, thinking about doing stuff and you're nervous, you're thinking, oh, what if I can't put it back together? I don't know which way it goes. It can only go one way, right? So the three screws that mount underneath the bridge plate, they have to line up. And then your six string through holes, right? Uh, have to line up with those and then the trem hole has to line up with that so it can only go one way You can't really mess it up. So you don't have to worry about that. That's it. The body is empty except of course for the claw Which I'm just gonna leave in there. So this body is gonna get uh, These holes enlarged a little bit and just the polishing. So let's move on to Parts cleaning, but you're gonna have to join me in part two for that because this video is getting a little long So thanks for watching. God bless Keep rocking that sixth string.